welcome to Mcraft Mancer Sir Productions, and um, today we're kind of doing a little switch in my videos, and I have downloaded this new program called No Limits 2. Also, this microphone, um, my microphone that I bought, apparently must have been cheap, because the little fuzzy part that, you know, lets the background noise not work, um, well, it came off, so... Now I have to use this microphone for now. But today we are going to be doing a tutorial of how to use the editor. And this is tutorial number one. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Smooth track. The radius, column, and g force flying options could help designing a smooth coaster. So, uh, first what you want to do is hit file. Okay. Then you want to hit new. Unless you already have a park and which case you wouldn't be watching this video so um so now what you're s supposed to do is you're supposed to name it which is pretty obvious i don't even know why i said that so i'm going to name nine m crack productions tutorials yes and uh this video is not being timed um, but it shouldn't take long. So first, to get, to move around in your view, you right click. Then you can do this. And use WASD to walk around like you do in Minecraft. <coughs> or as I should say, fly around. <laughs> so, I like to start out like this. So, what you do is, in the right corner right here, there's a button that says perspective. You want to change that to top. And now a grid should, should show up. You let you right, you don't even do anything. You just scroll up and down. And then you right click to move around. You always have to scroll up and down first. So, you know, zooming in and out. You can mess with that for a little bit. But we're going to get straight into starting this track. So, oops. So, what you're supposed to do here is you are supposed to come over here and hit on the track tab. It is on the top. It's about right below the. Oh, it's right below the help button. And with this track tab, you. No, first. Okay, so sorry. Okay, first, you're supposed to click on the coaster tab, which is right around in between edit and view. So, click on the coaster tab. Click on new coaster. Just like we made our save, you want to name this Coaster Tutorial 1. One. Okay, so now right here you can just leave this. So right next to the coaster is something called track. You want to click on that and then there, there should be new buttons coming up on the side. And now what you should start with is you click start vertex. Now what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to uh, click somewhere and it'll do this. So after it's done doing this, this you're supposed to click again and it'll create a track like that and you want a big enough track for at least a station so that would be about that much of in one of these big squares so now what I like to do first is I like to go down here click add type separators now what I do here is what these do is allows you to set the actual position of the station so what you do is you click here, and you click here, and you click select modify, slash modify, and uh, after you click that, you click on your track. Now a button should light up over here, it's called section type. If you click on that, you should see a tab that says track, station, lift, transport, brake, and storage. Right now, we're going to be using the station. So you click on that. And what I like to do is I like to click on the track again and click type settings. When you do that, you can name your station. Don't worry about putting like a number one on the end because it only works for this coaster. So now down here, there should be an OK button. You click on that. OK, so after you've done this, you click you go down here and click add vertex. After you click on add vertex, you can take this and add track like this so far right now let's just do a simple design 
That is not a simple design. That is not a simple design at all. Okay, <laughs> let's retry that. So, right here on this side, there should be add vertex, like I just said. Or, maybe not. I don't know. So, um, you click on this, and right now we're just going to make a simple oval shape. And then to connect a track, what you want to do is you want to click on select modify, hold down control. Now, do realize this tutorial, I have no idea what's going to happen for the Mac, because I do not have one. But this tutorial, I do know how to do it on a PC, so let's do that. So you want to hold down control, and then click on the arrow, and the little box right here. Another box, box over on your side should light up, and it says connect. You want to click on that button, and now you have a simple design. But, it is not complete because we have to go back to the add type separators and then click on here and here and what we do here is we want to set these as breaks so you go to section type again and track station live transport break so we're going to click on that and same thing about naming it cut breaks remember not the one and the breaks before the station I like to click on complete stop right here and put five seconds because that means it'll wait five seconds and then down here centered on section really helps because if you don't have that selected the car will stop behind the brakes instead of in front of the brakes so I mean in the brakes so I like doing that if you have a complete stop so now what you do here so you've got a simple design right so now you want to go over here and click on go to your thing that said pers perspective but now says top so you want to click on that you want to go down and either hit front back left or right because all of them work so front you uh, drag over and you can see the front of your coaster which I do not recommend using back Remember, drag over. You can see the back of your coaster. Do not recommend using. Left, left I recommend using. Because it's a lot easier. Or right. Right is a lot easier too. So what I like to do here is when I'm about to make the track not be flat. I go to the file button and hit preferences. It's right below save package and extract package. When you click on preferences, you come over here and you have common overlay precision and limits you want to click on common if it's not already selected and then you click on view layout and go all the way down to quad view after you do that you click OK now what it should do is apparently I have two lefts now you have a bunch of different perspectives so here's the top that we were using at first Here's the actual thing that we started out in. And here is left and right. So, if you notice that, look, in all four views, or three views, if you highlight one of the dots, it'll highlight them on the rest. That is how I figure out where the dot is. So this dot is where we want the chain. So we want this to go, oh crap. Okay, not that dot. Maybe not that dot. Maybe something like... Oh gosh, failed. Maybe something like... Yeah, not that dot. Nor that dot. I wonder... Where is this dot? Oh. Oh, okay. So... So if you mess up like this, this is a very simple fix. You go to the top and you go to where you messed up. And if you don't want to mess up the station as you're moving, as you're trying to create the lift, you want to go over to your side again and hit inter insert vertex. Now instead of one line, it should be two white lines. And uh, now you add a vertex where you want it to be. For lifts, I would put it right in front of your other one. Now, you have two vertexes here instead of one. Go back to select and modify. 
go back into your right view and figure out which one is the new vertex you just added. All right, found it. So this vertex you want to drag up. Once you drag this up, okay, I gotta go on this side now. Once you drag this up, you should see on your perspective view that everything is going up with it. So to add an actual chain, you want to go back into your top view if you do not want to have four views anymore, you go back to file, you go back to preferences, and instead of quad view, click single view. Now, you have to choose which one you want to be back into. I would suggest top for right now. So we have just made this part go up. Right now, we need to add type separators like we did at the beginning. You add those as long as it keeps going up. I'm going to just think right there. We're going to click on the tracks, section type. Like we did for the station and brakes, we want to go down until it says lift. Click on lift. I would like to name this. Okay. This is where you can change the speed of any of this stuff. You'll figure that out because that'll be in another tutorial. So right now, I'm going to change to five because my speeds are glitched. So now we have five. And we've got a pretty simple coaster now, so we want to click on the perspective spot and click on perspective. And then right here, see, you now have a chain going up to like right there, which we don't want it there. So in the perspective view, you just click on your spot that you added and drag it back. So if we want a chain like right there, now we can do that. So these breaks, you need to click on them. This is something I forgot to do. You click on section type. No, you click on type setting. And you click on enable transport device or it will not leave the brakes, it will stay there. Again, there's the speed, another tutorial. So here you go, you have a simple coaster. How do you actually try it out? So what you're supposed to do is you go to file, and then you click on save. That way, just in case when it tries to freeze it, it does not work. So, uh, next to the coaster tab, like we did at the beginning, you want to click on the coaster tab. And then, a tab, look for a tab that says freeze. When it, when you find a tab that says freeze, you click freeze. You click it, as I should say. And, um, now you'll see that the brakes look real and the station looks real. Now, kind of glitch there, but that's okay. It actually kind of looks cool. Anyway, see, now you have a chain right here. So when the station lets off, it'll go up the chain. Now you have a little downhill. The downhill will bring the, tr the train all the way across it. So now you want to save again, like I just said. Now when you want to write it, you click on File and Leave Editor. Don't worry, you saved. You click on Play and it should go right into the world you created. And look at this, it's already in, it's already starting, and we're up the chain, this is what it, this is what it should do. Right view, and yeah. So, we're testing our coaster. Here we go, down, down. Oh gosh, that was a hard stop. Well, those are the brakes working, and now we're into the station. And that's how it works. If you want to get out of this view, you just hit escape. So, thanks for watching MCraft Mancer's Productions, and I will see you next time. Bye.